Welcome to the video demonstration of Queued Up, the DJ tool for iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, Queued Up is a DJ application that helps you DJ more easily and effectively. So, let's play some music. Now, every DJ knows that you have to match the tempos of each track. This one on Pioneer CDJ 400 is currently playing at 127 beats per minute. I've not adjusted the tempo at all. I'll move over to the other CDJ. Got another track here. It's also 127 beats per minute. When I play these two tracks together, they're going to play perfectly because they're going to be the same speed. So here's it, here it goes. So, these tracks are playing perfectly because their tempos are exactly the same. They were both made at 127 beats per minute. Now, what happens when you try to mix a track that's made at 126 beats per minute? It's not going to work because it's too slow. Usually, a DJ would have to speed it up manually. until it gets the right speed. Obviously listening to the track through some headphones to make sure the tempos match. Now this is a bit time consuming because look at the amount of positions the tempo slider can be to still give you 127. There's quite a lot of play in that and personally I don't have time for that. And that's why I came up with this application. Sorry, the, uh, the camera's a bit blurry, but I'll try and guide you through it. I've just clicked on track mode. Now I know this track is 127, so my set BPM is 127. My track BPM, the one I'm going to mix in, is originally 126. So I'll just tap that in there. Press done. Right, there you go, that's the perfect adjustment that I need to make to that track. It's quite it's hard to see on the camera, but it's exactly 0.793. So I get to my tempo slider and I slide it up to it was 0.793, so I'm gonna slide it up to 0.7 make it 0 0.8 there we go Ooh, too far can be a bit tricky trying to find the pet there you go so what happens when you mix these two now remember I'm doing this without headphones
feeling good now. And I have not touched the temple at all. I barely even touched it. So she just jog wheel. Now, I can do whatever I want on the mixer, but I know these two perfectly mixed in. Right, I went on track mode before. If you go back to home, you can also go on table mode. Now, my set BPM is 127. The, the tempo I'm going to play my entire DJ set at is going to be 127. Right, now it comes up with a list. This, in the orange column, these are the original BPMs of all the tracks that I'm going to play. So, for example, this one's 126. I can look it up on here. 126 gives me not point, uh, plus 0.79. That's what I've just showed you then. Go on to another track. Wait for it to analyze. This one is 128. So I look up on here. Fortunately you can't see it on the camera. But 128 is 0.78 minus 0.78. Another track. This is quite a good example. This one's quite far off. This one is 1.22. Use up look on my table, I find up 1.22 and it is actually 4.09. Right? So speed this up to 4.1 I'll call it. That's the closest I can get the CDJ. So, so what happens? 